What are your thoughts on angioplasty and, and atherectomy surgery? Yeah, well, these days, uh, angioplasty surgery is, is basically stenting, you know, so, so it's, it's opening up a narrowed artery. Um, most of it is done for people with uh, what we call in the heart with stable angina. It's done in other areas of the body as well, in, in the kidney. Uh, and other arteries in the, in the legs and that kind of thing. Um, but the evidence for it isn't that good because for people with stable angina, it's not better to do that than it is to give them medical therapy with, with drugs. Um, and yet it's still commonly done. Um, so that is a procedure that's, that's definitely overdone. It's been shown now with several studies that it's being overdone, uh, but people are still doing it uh, because when they do the angiography, which looks at the uh, artery and shows that it's narrowed, they just think, well, I'm just going to open up that narrowing because it just makes sense. And they're not looking at the science that says, well, if you do that, it doesn't help the patient any more than if you, if you give them medical therapy, uh, at least for patients with, with stable uh, angina. Um, they don't think that. They just think, but it's narrowed. I've got to open it up, and surely that's a good thing. It's a bit like, but there's a lump in their thyroid, so surely I've got to take it out. That's has to be a good thing. Um, okay, yeah, sounds good. Let's test it. Oh, it's not good. Okay, let's not do it. Uh, but people don't go to that stage. They just say it sounds good, so I'm going to do it. What are your thoughts on hysterectomy surgery? Yeah, hysterectomy is a, a, another interesting one. Um, you know, say you've got somebody, so this is removal of the uterus. You've got somebody with, with uterine cancer. Uh, and you take it out and their cancer's gone. Great. Okay. So that's, that's, that's an area where it could be effective, but it's done for a lot of other things. It's done for people with, with endometriosis, with unexplained pelvic pain, um, with, with ab benign abnormalities in the, in the uterus that might not be necessarily causing the symptoms. So it's a bit like uh, the back pain question where there's something there on the scan, but that thing on the scan might not necessarily be causing the back pain. Um, and so it, it, ha it is an area where surgeons have been criticized for overdoing the procedure. Um, and, and like a lot of things, other things I've said is, is there an area where it might be effective? Yes. But is it being overdone? Yes. What are your thoughts on gallbladder removal surgery and doesn't this save lives? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. When I did my training, um, gallbladder surgery was done every day. You know, we would have a ward full of people having their gallbladders out and anybody who had sort of, uh, uh, um, you know, pain in the abdomen in that region or, uh, uh, all sorts of sort of vague complaints got their gallbladder taken out and, and the gallbladder was blamed for, uh, uh, for everything. Um, but it's much less common to do it now. So I think it was, it was being overdone. Um, and uh, I haven't looked at that recently, so I don't know what the rates are uh, and whether the rates are going down or going up. Um, and uh, so I'm not really up on the evidence of gallbladder surgery, so I'll probably leave that one there. What are your thoughts on heart bypass surgery, coronary artery bypass graft? Yeah, there's uh, uh, studies that have compared coronary artery bypass grafts to stents. And for a while there, there was uh, a little bit of um, competition between the cardiac surgeons who do the bypass grafts and the cardiologists who do the stenting. Um, and, and again, when I did my training, coronary artery bypass grafts was very common. Cardiothoracic surgeons made a good living doing that. Um, these days, they don't do it so much because the cardiologists have taken all their work away by doing the stenting. Now, there are still cases where stenting fails or where stenting can't work and they get referred to the surgeon. But bypass grafting is, is, um, uh, doesn't have a clear benefit over stenting. And stenting doesn't have a clear benefit over non-operative treatment for many of the patients that are stented, not everybody.